How do you immediately win the game called humanity? Playing a character called human. Because it's simple. And the answer is simple. But I'm first going to give you the basics of playing the game called human. You're a non-physical, endless, infinite being of existence, a being of light, energy, essence, soul. It's just words. You have an endless existence, non-physical, in an all-knowing state, aware of all your experiences. So in this all-knowing state, it's difficult to grow and focus on one experience. So as an endless being, along with countless other endless beings, physical reality was created. Now, your all-knowingness, your essence of light, in physical reality, you are captured or you are allowed to focus on only a small piece of light, which is called the visible spectrum of light, on the electromagnetic spectrum of light. And that allows you to not be aware of your all-knowingness, but only focus on this little piece of light, which we call physical reality, which allows you to focus on your moment, to have an experience and explore and enjoy and grow while you're focusing on that moment. An experience is defined by the energies called emotion, which tells you this was a good experience or this was a bad experience because you do not want to have the bad ones again. And of course, the form of being called time Gives you the illusion, it's an illusion, along with physical reality. Gives you the illusion that one moment follows another. And the reason for this is to allow you to have one experience after another. So the basics are so simple. And once you get this, not even death will scare you. Because you are endless, infinite being of light with an endless existence. And right now, just for a moment, you are focusing on a small piece of light, the visible spectrum of light, so you can have an experience in a moment, moment after moment, called time. Once you get this, not even death will scare you. But how does the game work? These experiences and these moments, you create them yourself. Your endless state, your endlessness, your energy, your soul, your essence, create these illusions for you, these images which you see right in front of you. They are created for you. It's an illusion. So the, the mirror appears, these images appear, so you can then focus on the particular experience you want to explore that will help you grow or have fun. Or learn from. But it's all put from the outs from the inside, it's all put to the outside. It's a mirror, and a mirror of your endless state that allows you to focus on experience in a moment. And once you get this, you will understand that only you, endless being of light, essence, energy, soul. Only you can create the images that's displayed in front of you. The reality, the physical reality, the illusion that you are now a character called human. And once you get this, you can control the game and you can immediately win the game by just setting down the basic rules of I'm available for this. I don't want this. And the whole universe, because it's an illusion, it's an illusion, the whole universe will play out the images that you yourself are available for, that you yourself create. I'm only available for peace and joy and abundance and love. But remember, you do not plant a seed 
and tomorrow you pick the fruit. You plant your seeds of joy and abundance and love. And then you nurture your seeds. You believe in your seeds. You allow them to grow and you watch them appear before your eyes. Because that's the only thing that can play itself out in your physical reality is that which you yourself put out. So why are negative things happening to you? Nothing can happen to you unless you allow it. But of course there's other players in the game as well. And some of these players are motherfuckers. They are nasty players. And they fool you. They fool you into believing. You must play their game. So what do you do? You then say, okay, I accept. You are stronger than me. You control me. You must tell me what I must do. And then you give permission to play in their game. And many of these players are nasty players. They're motherfuckers. But you can only play in their game when they fool you into playing their game. When you do not realize the only images, the only illusion that will be manifested right in front of your eyes, the only mirror, the only mirror that can appear is the one you yourself create and the moments and experiences you yourself are available for. And it's as simple as saying, I'm only playing this game of fun, abundance, joy and peace. And I control my character in the game. So negativity and nasty players interfere with your game. Once they fool you into thinking, they control all the characters. They control the game. And this is nonsense. This is absurd. This is a circus with a bunch of clowns. And you, don't, you do not have to be the circus animal that plays with the clown. You create your reality. And once you get this, once you get this, not even death scares you. Because tomorrow you're going to play, you're going to play on another planet, in another outfit, another character. The only thing that will put itself out in front as images in this illusion of physical reality and time is what you yourself put out as an endless being you yourself create. Take control of your character. Take control of your player, your game. And say, I will only play the game in this way. And do not let nasty players fool you into believing they control the game. Because the whole point of the universe, the universal laws put into place, do no harm, respect other beings, is there so you are not interfered with while you play your game. So once you take responsibility for your player, and you decide the rules of how you're going to play, law, universal law states, nothing and no energy of no kind, of any infinity of all possibilities, no other energy or being or essence or soul can interfere with the experience you are having in the moment called time, followed by the next moment with another experience where emotion tells you this was bad or good. Only you, infinite being of energy, a soul, an essence, being of light. Only you decide how you play the game. And once you get that, the game becomes a whole lot of fun. Because then you tell these negative players, with all the shenanigans, you tell them to fuck off. And you see how that seed grows into a beautiful plant which will appear right in front of your eyes because you yourself create the image, the mirror, the illusion which you play in as a character called human, in the game called humanity. There's so many of you who do not know this. So I want you to know this now. Nothing, nothing can happen to you unless you give permission. That's the only way Another influence, another character can play your game for you.
take control of your character, set the rules for how you're going to play the game, and watch how your seeds grow, and how what you put out from within appears without, right in front of your eyes.